talked a little bit about witnessing last week, um, and I talked about it in the Vincentian Minute too, actually. But one of the things I want to talk about is is healing and being a witness to healing. Um, it's a funny gospel, isn't it? It's like Jesus says, just do what's prescribed and don't tell anyone. And of course, he tells everyone. Um, and it's the experience of the early church probably talking. People can't stop talking about the good things that have happened in their lives, the healings in their lives, physical, spiritual, emotional. And it happens to us too. And we don't talk about it all the time. Uh, we don't reference it. We might know we're feeling better. We might know we're in need of healing we, uh, uh, for lots of different things. We might see it in our families. We might see it in our family systems. There's all places where God's healing touch becomes evident or the need for it becomes evident. And so that's something that a, a Christian needs to talk about. And it's, it's, it, it's putting yourself out there a bit to say, um, I was once this and now I'm this. You remember uh, Amazing Grace. I was lost and now I'm found. Um, I was blind and now I see. Those are all like scriptural references that testify to the Christian life. Um, the author of that uh, piece is, is saying, I used to think slavery was okay, and now I don't. Um, and, and that's what needs to happen with us too. It may not be, you know, I had these pains and they went away, or I had a struggle with mental illness and I found help. Um, but also, I used to think a certain way, and my encounter with Jesus changed my mind. I had a metanoia, a conversion. We're on the edge of Lent, so start thinking about that stuff. As you begin to think about how you need to change uh, in your life, think about how you have changed, and begin to talk to one another about it. Why? Because that will facilitate you and everyone else in your world. Um, in their ability to speak to Jesus first about what they need because they'll have confidence that he's listening and he's going to act. He'll tell you what to do and then be like the person in the gospel story. Go tell everybody what happened. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.